Good morning. You're watching the morning news on CNN News 18. This is Anjali Pandey. In what will mark a significant step towards self-reliance in the defence sector, Prime Minister Modi will commission the first indigenously designed and built aircraft carrier INS Vikrant at 9:30 a.m. at Kochi Shipyard Limited in Kochi. Designed by Indian Navy's in-house warship design bureau and built by Kochi Shipyard Limited, Vikrant has been made with state-of-the-art automation features and is the largest ship ever in maritime history of India. The indigenous aircraft carrier is named after her illustrious predecessor, India's first aircraft carrier, which had played a vital role in the 1971 war. With it, India also joins the group of nations, the US, Russia, France, the UK and China, who are capable of designing and constructing aircraft carriers. During the event, the Prime Minister will also unveil the new naval flag, doing away with the colonial past and befitting the rich Indian maritime heritage. Now I am joined by my colleague Arunima from Kochi. So first indigenously made aircraft carrier by India is to be commissioned today. This is India's massive Atma Nirbharta push in defence. Can you take us through its unique features, Arunima? Well, Atma Nirbharta indigenously built is uh, the uniquest feature of uh, ISC Vikrant, which will soon become INS Vikrant after it is commissioned. The fact that from uh, the steel with which this warship has been built uh, to the cabling, uh, to all the electronics, the mechanics, everything has been made, contributed to by Indians, makes uh, this uh, IAC or the Indian Aircraft uh, Carrier uh, unique in nature. What other than that? Uh, if you see the deck and, and the place that I'm standing, I'll just move out of the frame because this is the stage where the Prime Minister will come. But beyond that stage, if my VJ can just zoom in, you see the hull of the ship there. That's Vikrant. We are standing right below the deck of uh, Vikrant and uh, that's where the Prime Minister will address. So that is what makes this unique. It is comparable to two football grounds, the deck uh, of ISC Vikrant. It's a floating city with all uh, possible amenities. It has uh, It can accommodate up to... Uh, you know, uh, sailors, both men and women, that's something unique as well uh, because women in defence forces has been a touchy issue. And as I'm speaking to you, um, you know, I can hear uh, the military band, the Navy band uh, uh, coming in uh, here. The Navy band will be behind me in just a moment. Uh, this is So the ceremony is beginning now. In a couple of minutes, uh, the Chief of Naval Staff will be here. Uh, and the naval band is here uh, to, to you know, throw open uh, the ceremony in that sense. Uh, and uh, what is what is uh, the the, uh, the rundown, so to say? What is the run order in which you will see the events? The naval band is here. The CNC, the chief of naval staff, is expected uh, at about 8:40. The chief of naval staff is the main host of this event. It is the CNS who will hand over the commissioning warrant to the ship's commander. It is once the commissioning warrant is handed over, does the ship get commissioned into the naval fleet. And on the topmost mast of that ship behind me, on the topmost mast, uh, the Beret uh, will uh, ensure uh, that that uh, you know, commissioning flag is flown. And that will uh, make INS uh, Vikrant a ship of the Indian Navy. What else is unique about this ship? I tried to put together this ground report after uh, visiting Vikrant. Let's take a look. Majestic, gallant, victorious. IAC Vikrant evokes many adjectives, but none are adequate to describe the place this aircraft carrier will hold in our history. Vikrant is the second aircraft carrier that India will commission after INS Vikramaditya. It is the first indigenously built carrier and carries the weight of its name. Original INS Vikrant, purchased from England in 1961, was decommissioned in 1997 after etching its name in gold in India's maritime history.
The decision to build a second aircraft carrier was taken after the Kargil War. The keel was laid in February 2009. The hull completed and ship launched in water for the first time in 2013. And after nine years, the Cochin shipyard delivered the first indigenously built aircraft carrier.